What up, everybody? We are here at Isle de Bois on Ray Roberts. Got a pretty good little setup here. And we're gonna do a little walkthrough. We upgraded to a pop-up. Welcome. <laughs> Let's give you a tour of our high wall 277 from, um, dang. Rockwood. Rockwood. I, well, rock. I was gonna say forest. You know. Forest River. Yeah, because yeah, they're like sister companies. Sure. Whatever. Rockwood's anyway. the. Rockwood High Wall yeah. 277, and this is a 2019 model. Um, the idea here to give you guys a tour. I'm just gonna start from here and we'll just work all the way back around to the kitchen. It's the fastest way or most organized way I can think to show you guys. So. To start, we uh, the good thing about high walls is that it's got ample storage. And so in here, what we do is um, below, we keep all of our fans. We've got five of these fans and we've got three of these, which are standard for the uh, pop-ups. They plug in and you've got two fan speeds and a light. Um, so we keep that in there. And then uh, I've got our, this, our shoes go in there while we're camping. Yay. But for uh, Oops, sorry, storage, I like these things I bought. They're collapsible. And what I do is all, all of my little decorative knickknacks. I don't have a whole lot because it's a pain to decorate a whole lot. Anyway, I put it in here. And then when we get to our campsite, it's easy to just kind of collapse and put it away and then, and then use this space for something else, which in our case is tennis shoes and flip flops. Um, here is like our little charging station. We have, it's up here right now, this USB charger and um, keep these fans plugged in the entire time so they don't die. That way we have full blast into this bed during the day. During the day it gets a little toasty, but at night it's like really cold. So I enjoy that. Um, this is what we call our closet. I st stole <laughs> these from the Camp Chef uh, kitchen that we had in our tent. If you ever saw our tent video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and this is great because we can fit like 10 outfits or so for the kids in here, including socks, underwear, bathing suit, that sort of thing. 10 summer outfits, not winter outfits. Um, anyway, so it's great. They, they know what to do here. And hold on, we've got a kid. We've got yes. a wild Grayson. We need daddy. Why do you need daddy? The rope, the rope and the Okay, y'all watch it for a minute and we'll come out in just a second, okay? okay. All right. <laughs> the rope untied to the float, so you'll have to fix it later. Yeah, I, I thought it might. Um, these fans I showed in our tent and uh, video, but I'll show again in case you've not seen a tent video and not interested in tent camping because you own a pop-up or going to own a pop-up. This is Frizz Cool we bought on Amazon. We bought one, then we bought two, then three, and then added it to five, so everyone has one. What I enjoy about this is you have uh, three modes for the fan, and you got two um, versions for the light. You got a light, like dim and then, and then brighter. And then the fan, I don't know why, they have timer options. Uh, we just keep it going the entire time. Also, what's interesting to note about this is it's a power bank, so you can charge your phone or, you know, a small device from it too. We've not actually ever used that feature, but I assume it works because the Amazon reviews says it works. And they also come with um, a remote and one remote can control all of them. So you don't need one for each individual fan, but it, it comes with each fan purchase. Uh, I purchased two of these stairs. They were metal and you got to put them together, but I like it because it is aesthetic. It looks nice with the camper. Uh, I like the height and the width of it. And uh, right now it, we've got Moose Moose's stuff. We camp with a bunny, but she's not with us on this camping trip because we're just here for two nights and we've got a lot of extra kids with us. So we didn't want anyone stepping on her, but normally her litter box and hay would be under there. This is a king size bed. Um, right now we've got our daughter Kaylin and two of her friends plus Madeline sleeping on it. 
And during the day, we just make up the bed and put storage on either side so we don't have a mess throughout here. In this drawer, we keep our zero water filter in there and then uh, all of the stuff for the coffee bar, it gets put in here. And then when it gets put out, I just use this for whatever purpose suits us for that camping weekend. And then we also have our, our pots in here and then our, uh, there's a water filter. I have no idea what kind or even how well it works, but there's, that's yeah, we gotta replace that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we haven't done that. We bought this used. And then the coffee bar is my, my favorite thing. Um, and well, it's coffee, liquor and snacks. Man, yeah, you got to have the important stuff for him. I really like this. I bought everything I you see, like 98% of everything in here is bought from Amazon. Um, but I had a friend make these stickers for me because my handwriting is not great with chalk. So that's that. Anyway, so the idea is the fruit, the kids can come anytime to get fruit unless we're literally about to eat dinner. Then two a day snacks and one a day. It seems to work. They don't ask me if they can have something. They know the rules and it's very simple and easy. This little coffee maker is worse. <laughs> um, the reviews on Amazon were good, so I, we decided to try it and actually it's been great. You know, it fits a, a little mug, maybe one a little taller will work, but it's, it's perfect. We, we have not had any issues with it. Another benefit to having a high wall, other than the, the cabinets and the, the higher um, countertop. Countertop, thank you. We're clearly dying from the sun <laughs> outside. It's hot, uh, and a lot of kids has got us like crazy. Anyway, it is the bigger refrigerator. So here is it's a three-way fridge. It can run on gas, battery, and electric. We don't have a whole lot in here since we were just here for two nights. We've got a little freezer. Um, right now it's got french fries for dinner tonight and ice cream sandwiches for dessert. These are our ice cubes. We didn't want to have the hassle of refilling little ice cubes and keeping them in there getting knocked over. And of course, uh, it just takes up space. So these are great. You just wash them and put them back in and they freeze. And then you've got reusable ice cubes. And they keep your uh, drinks cold for a while, so that's nice. Yeah, we put them in our camelbacks too when we go hiking. Yeah. Um, this is normally stowed away in, in one of these cabinets, but we keep this step stool because this, like I've said, mentioned, is a high wall. Um, and we are not very tall people, so getting into our pantry is rather difficult. So we use this so we can rummage around in there. Here we've got uh, our dinette. What I enjoy about this is all five of us with a maybe, we can actually probably fit seven people here. How many people did we have this morning? I mean, we had six kids here. We probably, I guess, I guess six kids was enough. I don't yeah. know that we could have squeezed. We probably could have squeezed one more if we absolutely a had to, but kid. yeah, small <laughs> kid. All six kids were here with breakfast. Um, and this is on a slide. So I yeah. you see we've got added depth, which is for this model, it allows a lot more space here. I mean, you can see Ezra, Ezra is a big dog. Those of you that have, that have seen him and we can move around him just fine. Our water heater is underneath this chair. We have access to the cabinets. The cabinets yeah, go yeah, all is, the way this around. This is all storage. Yeah, it's all storage. Sorry. We have access to that from inside the uh, camper and on the outside, which we'll show in a little bit later. This cabinet here, um, it had a wall partition from the water heater and we kind of just broke it because it was really pointless. And we use our toilet paper and paper towels, really light stuff in case it does knock into the water heater. We're not worried about like damaging anything. This cabinet, we keep all of our extras, our, um, like extra we have like batteries and lights and we got sunblock ah, first aid kit obviously didn't move this around before the the video these things we have more somewhere are great when you don't have a shower available or you just don't want to go outside 
to shower off. You can do this inside the pop-up or the tent and it just takes a little bit of water. You can wash your hair, everything, and then you dry off with a towel. And you actually do feel clean after using these. It's pretty surprising. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a lot. We even have um, sewing in case something happens. You just never know out here. Um, uh, the water heater when we bought it was leaking the first time and then it just magically stopped. So we have this just in case it starts to fill up again. And then we have every single light bulb that you can replace in and outside of the camper. We bought them and I um, labeled each of them so we, we know what we're looking at. And then we even have an extra latch for the door because I'm always like afraid the kids are going to pull too hard and break it. We did install a handle to avoid that scenario and uh, we'll show you that handle in a little bit. That way they can pull on the handle and not the latch and that eases my mind a little. So stick this back in there. All right. I purchased this picture on Etsy. It's one of a kind. I enjoy, I like it because I, we started tent camping. And so what I wanted to do is my imagination was like sitting at the table, loving our camper and then realizing where we started. So this is like an oasis compared to our, although we were huge glampers and it was great, but this is really great. Um, so we've made a sticker that says our roots since we started in the camper and then these are little fairy lights that I bought on Etsy um, and they are just lights up really nice at night and then also you can use it as a nightlight it works well and we also have this little guy here oh yeah I made that to look like our logo I love it <laughs> and then <sighs> the half of 2020 models have the enclosed high wall bath wet bath um, but past 2020, at some point, they stopped doing it and it is just a curtain that goes all the way around. So for us, we wanted something that felt a little more private and not so just open, you know? Um, so this is our happy place. <laughs> Actually, the entire camper is our happy place. It was just cute. And the bathroom here, it's um, really, it's not that bad for a pop-up. It's got a good, good amount of space in it. We have taken showers already in here and it, and it seems to be fine. I installed that shelf there and it's got all of our, yeah, I'll show that where you can. Push it down, right? Or no? Yeah. It's supposed to, ah, there you go. <laughs> here, let me hop in there real quick. So you can see what it looks like me standing in here. I'm uh, five seven. So you've got plenty of space. What he was showing you is I bought this. So when you're at showering, you can put the shower head in here and it's a lot just easier than having to hold it. And for those of you on our OnlyFans, we'll show you what that actually looks like. We do not have that. <laughs> this is your shower curtain. Um, let me bring it all the way around here. Pretty sure they know how that works. Whatever. <laughs> what, the shower curtain? Yes. Well, they. Some people are like, how do you not get everything wet when you have that oh, hanging okay. there? So I wanted to show them. This actually, when we're using it, gets closer to here. All right. Oh, well, here, you're gonna have to take that if you wanna actually show them. All right. Um, close the door real quick. Oh my God. Yeah, we're just showing them. Anyway. Only fans starting now. <laughs> Stop. There is Velcro down here. So you just put that on there and then this kind of goes over there. Oh, sorry. There. And that's how you block the door. And it gets a little wet, but it doesn't like drench the floors or anything. It, it works. It works. It works really well. And then over here, uh, we've got a bathing suit towel rack type thing there that works well. And we uh, put a, to a toilet scrubber in there. And yep, sometimes you need it. And then after or before each use, use this. That's great for RVs. RVs everywhere, pop-ups, you all need it. It works well. 
All right, moving on to our queen bed. This is where Michael and I sleep. Um, all three kids for now, they sleep on the king bed. And then when they start getting bigger, this dinette folds into a uh, little smaller than a double bed. But for now, we've got two boys sleeping on, on this trip and it worked out just fine. And you got all your tanks information here and batteries and such. This does come solar ready. So let me show them that. Those of you who are interested in that. I purchased this, which you saw in the bathroom. It, it's actually a two pack. So I put it on here and it's got all of our toiletries. So it's off the counter. And then I found these snails and they keep, you know, our toothbrushes. And that system seems to be working pretty, pretty well. And here is our dirty hamper. So we put all of our dirty clothes in there and we just kind of hide it during the day. And then at night we shove it somewhere. Normally for now, we can put it on that bed when the kids are sleeping because they're short enough. But we've got a little bitty uh, cabinet in here. Um, but as small as it is, surprisingly, it holds a lot. So this is a nice collapsible bowl is really 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 sturdy like really sturdy we've we've liked this a lot and then i got two of these clear bins because i wanted to be able to see what was in there if i'm looking for something um we're missing one of the bowls but we've got three sets of different sizes of these that are classable and they each come with the tops and then the other one we use to hold the uh, white sauce yeah, I cleaned it. I just didn't put it in here. These are great. It's not actually missing. Bought these, or, you know, they came with to-go food from BJ's. And we just, the shower fell down. <laughs> and we just keep these and for when we're cooking and we need things to stay warm or covered. This is a large uh, windshield, whatever, windshield what? Protector? Sunshade. Sunshade for the car. But what we do is we cover this window. If we don't have our awning up, we cover that window. Yeah, there's um, that there's way one that, in this one. Yeah, there's so, one in that one. Yeah, it's so, hard to tell. So you can see how you can't see. <laughs> yeah. So, and then this is our strainer. It works pretty well. You just put it on the side it's of the pot. Right. Huh? It's all right. It's, it's a safe, space saver. So it being a space saver, it works well. Okay. I didn't have any issues with it. And then uh, a blow dryer. Would you say why you need a blow dryer when you're camping? Well, the last time we went camping, um, we left the campsite and we went to a nice restaurant, so we needed to look nice, hence needed a blow dryer. And that's it for in here. Except for our OnlyFans subscribers. Stop it! <laughs> that legitimately does not exist. <laughs> Another benefit to the high wall is you have a microwave and we have used this a few times. It works great. It's um, decent size. So you got a furnace as well. Yeah, the heater works really, really well. Yeah, we, we, we did some, some winter camping and we were not cold. <laughs> this is the AC unit that we used in our tent. Brought it in here. I fought him a little bit because I'm like, I don't want it. I want my counter space. Um, and when, I am glad that I listened to him because it makes a huge difference. It would not feel as cold in here if we didn't have this. This has been a lifesaver. And then what we do is we just unzip this corner piece right here and we put the vent on the Not outside. Anything, yeah. And it comes with the water, water what? Well, it's a condensator. Condensate tube thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. This is a very good review. So here we have mine and my, Michael's closet. Um, I like this. What we do is we keep this hanging piece in the camper, no point in bringing it in the house, but we do um, bring these in, in the house and we put up our clothes in it. We just kind of throw it all in our hamper and that's how we bring it to and from the house. So this has been, this has been great. And our, we did this ourselves. Oh so yeah, that's something you should the, point the, out. The way that sure. it's hanging, um, those those attachment points don't actually exist, and technically neither do those <laughs> for for that pantry. We bought that pantry, 
Um, I, I put those up myself and it's not, you know, it's like 10 minutes of work, but definitely worth it because having to hang it on, on this guy here, it really sticks out and gets in the way, being able to put it back up against the it's wall. Also, it was also kind of bending right here. I don't know how long that would have lasted us using it. Oh, really? It was kind of like weighing it down a little bit. We are still using our zero water. We used this in the tent and we're using it here. Uh, eventually we want to upgrade to having the little osmosis uh, filtration system that goes outside from the water source, but we're using zero water. It works really, really well. And we just fill this up and keep dumping it, refill, repeat. We, we haven't sanitized our camper. So. Yeah, we haven't used this water for drinking because, like you said, we haven't sanitized it. Um, and then the filter doesn't work that well, which you can see in our water filter test that we did in the video um, for fit and hot. Fit and hot. We're using this cutting board slash little sink that we had for camping uh, with a tent in our double sink because we are not camping with sewer and we don't want to use the gray tanks because it's, it's actually kind of small and we don't want to uh, fuss with emptying it when we leave. So we use this and just toss it out. Um, this trash can I really like, it's a space saver and you it's it's small holds a lot you do have to empty it like three times a day depending on you know what you're doing um, but i like this because you, you know if you got something big to throw in there or you can just lift up the top and throw something in there real fast underneath the sink we have uh, drying mats cutting boards we've got a broom a mop because we mop before uh, each time we camp up or pack up you know to keep the camper clean and we got our soap and miscellaneous stuff like that in there. This first drawer, we have our silverware and uh, you know, measuring cups and spoons and lighters, things like that. Knives. Here we have all of our uh, towels, mittens, uh, hot pads. Kitten mittens. <laughs> We've got our plates here, our bowls. Uh, these collapsible cups are pretty great. We had the kids dry them and they didn't dry very well this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still a little wet, but you know, kids, right? Anyway, so these are great. We love these, um, especially since you can just fold them back up, and throw them in there. Space saver, we've got two different sizes. We've got this one. These were our second purchase. Our first ones when we were tent camping are these little things. Um, they've never actually, oh, they really, they never actually uh, <laughs> fallen over, but they're just kind of awkward to hold. But they're nice for like uh, orange juice or something. Or for smoke wagon. Yeah, you know, or for that. Um, we've got cards in here. We have these little things for uh, eggs when we're doing our breakfast sandwiches on days that we do that. Um, we have the game Spot It, which is a ton of fun. This is the camping edition. If you've never played Spot It, highly, highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And each game, is, it's always different. Like, it doesn't repeat itself. It doesn't get boring. Kids go ham. Oh, we all do. It got really heated the last time we played. <laughs> and then underneath here is just quick access. We use it for grocery bags and trash bags. Our oven. Um, we've used several times already. Oh yeah, our oven we used several times already. And when we're not, when it's not in use, we keep our skillets and cookie sheets in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's got fancy lights. Fancy lights. Um, right underneath the oven. This is a drawer that does open. We never use it. It's got direct access um, so on the storage, outside as yeah. well. Um, but it keeps our, our grill um, in there when we're traveling. Traveling, yes. So I bought this um, for Ezra's water. It's meant for, you know, like spices or whatnot, or uh, in your bathrooms or what have you. We originally had his just regular water bowl here for him to drink at from, but it got spilled, I don't know how many times. And so this has been great. The kids don't knock into it. Um, he 
started just laying here and, <laughs> and putting his head over to drink without even standing. Every time so. I try to get a picture or video of it, he stops and looks at me. It's like he knows. He knows. We had a friend in our neighborhood um, build this for us and put our little stencil on it. Um, this is a three burner stove. And that, that glass top is really expensive to replace. And I've always thought that the kids are gonna come in here, slam down on it, and then it's gonna break. So, can you put that back down? Yeah. And this thing has, I mean, so basically the high walls, the benefit of the high walls is you get all of like uh, a much larger RV's amenities in a pop-up. So that's a, that's a pretty big cooking range for an RV period, much less a pop-up. And the oven's a decent size. It's not one of those micro ovens. Um, it's not super big, but you know, right? it's better than what a lot of people get. We had our girls do the dishes <laughs> this morning. I mean, really it's the price you pay whenever you have kids help you, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, we keep our utensils out of the drawers because, you know, space saver. So I liked the design of this, but then I put a plastic piece on the inside because uh, these things kept going through the slats. And now it's fine and it works. Um, as he mentioned, the pantry, he added this one. It came with this one. And so we just take these down and bring them into the house each time. We pack them up and leave them in the car when we're traveling. And then we just hang them up there. And it's actually it's pretty simple, really. Uh, I like it. And then I think the last thing I need to show you is the this door uh, handle is what I mentioned earlier. Um, we installed that so when the kids come in, they can uh, pull, pull this shut instead of grabbing this because they were putting a lot of tension on that and I was really afraid it was going to break. It's true. So I think um, I think that covers everything in here. Hey everybody, so Terry just got done doing the inside tour. I'm gonna do the outside since this is more of my environment. I do a lot of the cooking out here. Um, usually uh, I like hanging out outside, so I'll be out here, you know, doing nerd stuff like reading books or scrolling through Reddit or whatever. Um, but so as, as we said, this is the Rockwood High Wall 277. Um, they, they put that there so you never forget what you bought, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but this is a pretty unusual setup for pop-ups at least. I haven't seen very many that come with the uh, Dometic. Um, it's a non, I don't know what they call this, like a manual awning. So uh, it's really helpful in keeping the sun out. It's well over 100 degrees today. It's our, my, my watch is showing 104, so it's probably hotter than that. Uh, but it helps really shade this environment, keep it cool and comfortable. Um, if you want, you can set up misters and stuff. Um, so far, we haven't really felt the need to. Eventually, I'm going to have uh, one of those Ego fans that has the misters built into it that I can blow across this and really cool it down, but that's for next year's upgrades. The manual he was talking about is uh, these get folded up there, yeah. but when you, yeah, it twists, and that's how you get it to tighten, and it just yeah. gets stuck in there. And these poles come down this way, which they're actually pretty cheap poles. Um, but if you want to make them more sturdy, these water bags actually do really well because it holds it. <laughs> I thought I thought it was. Yeah, you missed you missed a hole. Well, I didn't miss it. I actually did it on purpose because I thought that that was nah. uh, straight. Nope. I put this up this morning by myself. Yeah. So. Because she's she's. You know, you can put this up by yourself. Yeah. It, it's a little bit more time extensive, but you can do it. Anyway, back to the water bags. Um, because they offer support um, here, here, and here, those are actually a lot sturdier, I believe, than just staking it down because you just 
it's less wiggle. This is not very, very sturdy. Anyway. Yeah, and so I, I guess the best way to do it is to just start front to, to back here. I would just start right here. Start and from right work here. That okay. Way. Yeah, since it's all well, here. Well, so this is a grab handle. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so uh, as we said on the inside tour, the upside to having a high wall is you get a lot of the larger RV or the like upscale RV amenities on a, on a pop-up. So we do have a, a you know, inside and outdoor speaker system. This first drawer is the one that's accessible inside underneath the stove. This is for my tool storage. Um, I've got a floodlight, a drill, the M18 inflator. This thing is freaking phenomenal. Uh, it's, it's more expensive than most inflators you're gonna find, but I, I mean, I, I've, I've blown up, I, I aired up our tires on this. I, I pumped them up, uh, they were a couple of PSI down, aired up half of the inflators, uh, inflatables out on the lake, and I still have a, a f basically a full nine, nine amp hour battery, and it is fast. So highly recommend this. Also, if you'll notice, all of my tools are Milwaukee, red till I'm dead. So <laughs> any of you DeWalt people, I don't want to hear it. Um, also got some little hand tools and stuff for some of the other items out here. Uh, I've got a propane extender because um, actually over here, in that bag. yeah, in that bag, uh, you can't see it, but we've got a propane fire pit. So I can run a, a cord out and we can have a fire if we want it. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of helpful. Uh, and I think that's really it. We've got some, you know, those of us, that, those of you that have watched our camping videos, we use all thread a lot for stakes because we can make them super long. They go really deep when they don't come out. So uh, this is just quarter inch all thread or eighth inch all thread, I mean. And uh, yeah, super, super cheap at the time. Uh, thanks, Humphrey and Associates. <laughs> and when we're traveling, um, this and the table, it goes in there and some of those tools stay and then some of them come out and we just stick it in there or the car is how yep. we make that work. And this is the antenna for the Wi-Fi Ranger. This comes with, if you're at a campsite that has Wi-Fi, uh, this takes a signal to boost it for inside. So it, it's pretty helpful. Um, we've, we've tried to use it a couple of times, but none of the sites that we've actually been on have been able to, yeah, been able to connect through the Ranger with the password. And that might be user error. So um, <laughs> it, it happens. Yeah. So again, um, the amenities, pretty nice. I've got, uh, I've got a built-in grill. This guy here, um, it's pretty decent size. And I actually use a large cast iron baking pan because it fits perfectly in there. So I've got a griddle. Um, one of the more ingenious ideas that I think I've been able to just stumble across of while in the store, like, hey, I think that'll fit. And it worked. So uh, I, I, I use this all the time. I, I cook bacon. I'm gonna be cooking hamburgers on it later today or smash burgers. So yeah, gonna be fun. Um, obviously tongs and such. Uh, you, you got a prep table. Um, this is great for holding adult beverages. Um, I drank all of my, my beverage. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, I did upgrade my speaker. Those of you that have seen some of our other videos, I had a, a JBL Charge, one of the original versions. Um, I've had it for like eight years. It literally finally just gave up the ghost, but this is pretty perfect for, uh, you know, like playing some tunes. And so, um, it's Barbenheimer, everybody. Uh, for those of you watching this, th we this have period. girls, but that <laughs> song is actually for Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Product of my generation. Um, but this is the the Trivet Stormbox Blast. Uh, anybody that's looking for a, a, just a really great Bluetooth speaker, I highly recommend Alan Ross Reviews on YouTube. Nobody tests speakers like him. The entertainment value is high. The knowledge that you can gain from him is fantastic. This is his best bang for the buck. Uh, it competes directly with um, like the, the large JBL boom boxes that are like five, 600 bucks. I picked this up for 175. When it's on sale at Amazon, it's like 150. So, I, I mean, this is, it gets super loud, super great. It's got, you know, disco lights and stuff on it if, if you want, like, you know, it's, it's cool. Um, Ellen Ross Reviews, check him out too. Uh, we've got our inflator charging. Um, this, this is one of those little quick fill inflators. It's battery operated, so we can just carry it down the lake as we need it. Intex makes that one. Yeah, Intex makes that one. We'll, we've got links for, we'll put links for all of this crap. Uh, and to Alan Ross Reviews, because he's great. Um, uh, the, the next item here, again, um, benefit of a high wall, you get really cool stuff. 
I've got a two burner cook stove here. Um, this is where I do most of the cooking. I do most of the cooking in our family. Um, Tara, you know, she, she helps out. She, yeah, she makes stuff. But for the most Sometimes. part, it, it's me. And when she cooks, it's usually stuff she can do inside in the oven. Because I like she'll, AC. Yeah, she'll do casseroles and stuff like that. Um, but if I'm actually cooking, it's either on the grill, the griddle, or, or this guy. Um, super, super awesome. Uh, this out here actually has a sink as well and a, and a cutting board. You're like, oh my God, how's it got a sink? Well, it's got a little flexible hose connector that, that connects to our, uh, the gray line. So it, it drains right out. Super helpful. Uh, the way that our propane connects, if, you, if you're wondering how that works, is it's just a simple quick connection. You got a valve here. So you, it, it stores up, you know, for whenever you're, you're traveling or if you just don't want to see it, you can throw that guy in there, shut the thing, whatever. And to connect it, you're just typical quick connection. Right there, you turn it on and you're good to go. Um, I've also got a drawer out here for all the different little, you know, I've got hot mitts, grill cleaners, foil, all that stuff. Uh, my lovely wife found this little guy online and this works fantastic for holding spices, especially if you're cooking them, you know, something that, that takes a lot of, you know, different, different components. Just put it all up there. You can prep down here and grab what you need, put it back up. So when we're traveling, these are suction cups. And so you just take it off and then it, um, it comes with little plastic covers um, and when it ships to you. And I've just kept those so that way the suction cups stay clean and we can reuse it each time. And then we've also added this paper towel holder because you know you need paper towels. And I like that it sits against the drawer like that. So the paper towels isn't just continuously unrolling from the wind. Yep. And then we've got these covers here, uh, you know, so wasps don't make a home or dirt daubers. Yeah, dog on dirt daubers. I think uh, I've also, again, um, we've got our, uh, as a part of all the tank packages and stuff, we do have a fresh water tank that we can fill up here. It's a vent for it and stuff like that. Uh, this comes with a lot of lights. So you got white light, you got a yellow bug light, and then we've got strip lighting that goes underneath there. It's that, you know, the, the cool guy RV blue LED lights that uh, all of them come with now. Uh, here's the AC piping. So again, we got our, our hot air and then our condensate that comes down. We run it all the way to the ground because we don't want it to drip on the side and discolor it at all. And then this is the lifetime uh, kitchen sink that- which they're not making anymore, which is weird. They're not making them? I, it, at least they're, if they're sold out, they haven't made them for like a year. It's like we got one of the last ones. Dude, that's crazy. I know. Um, th this thing is super setup. cool. Uh, it folds really compact, as you can see. It's it's you know that that big when it's folded up, and it's got storage for all of that underneath. So when it when it's folded up, it's really small. Coming up, I mean, it's the perfect height to do anything you need. Um, again, I do a lot of prep on this as well. If I need more space, uh, especially I'm cooking a lot of things at once. And this lasted a long time, keeping the water um, from not coming out. But I think the yeah. it's just build up in there. So uh, Michael. All the hard water. Yeah, so it just stays dripping now. So Michael got one of these. So we can actually have a hard uh, shut off and we're not wasting a bunch of water yeah, and, and dripping. I don't know if, I mean, I'm sure you've done an actual review, but this has different different water modes. In and, our tent, we've yeah. done it, but not here. But yeah, this yeah. this has been great. It's also, we've also showered using this. Yeah. yeah you know, when we're, have, we're yeah. in a pinch, we just grab it and we're like showering out here. So in our bathing suits, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not butt naked. So again, on back here, we don't really have much. Um, we do have obviously all the cooling solutions that you know you, you could want on a on a camper we've got our be cool solutions up top we've got the pop-up gizmos or pugs as people call them then we, we've got these little shiny bubble inserts as well in the windows for these a lot of people are like how do you measure these uh what i did was uh i work for a construction company we've got a large plotter it's a large printer and we plot our paper which is huge and so i brought some home and i traced the windows along the side and then um, I, I just cut it out. So it's not perfect, but it, it covers most of it. And I, uh, I think this does a good job reflecting the sun, but it also does a great job when you're sleeping, it's darker in there. So that's also a benefit to doing that to your windows. Yep. And then we've got our, our spare tire cover. Bought this from Amazon. It was only like $23 with taxes and such it's a pretty good deal because it's pretty great
quality, honestly. Yeah. Right. I was surprised. This here, um, which we have strewn out, and we've shown a couple of times on different videos. It's a Be Cool Solutions. I'll find the tag corner on one of those and show you as we walk around. Um, but this is great. We've had this one for going on three years now. It's really, really large. It's like 14 by 20 or something like that. Um, and it says it cuts down 10 degrees, you know, underneath. And I want to say that, that it is extremely accurate. When we don't have this on our, our camper, we definitely can feel a difference. Yeah, we kind of messed up running it. Typically, we, we got, we, yeah, we, we set we up really it. late last yeah. night. So normally Midnight. this is strewn out over this way as well. And it is not doing that right now. We'll have <laughs> yeah. to fix it if we want to get the sun off our camper. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're yeah, only we're here, here for one night. It's yeah. fine. It's cool enough inside. But it works. Okay, so down yeah. here. So again, uh, this is our, our U-Dinette. Um, got, got a, the, our, our U-Dinette is on a slide, so it pulls out. And again, this is how you access all the storage. But what makes our camper, our pop-up unique again, is you've got black tanks and gray tanks uh, and a freshwater tank as well for off-grid camping. Um, and this storage here is kind of a catch-all. So we've got uh, these cool little bags here. Um, this is, I think, for the electrical. Uh, is it electrical? Does it yeah, say? it's labeled. Yeah. Where is it? On the other side, you missed it. What? Or maybe it's, oh no, it's fresh. Sorry, no, it says fresh, fresh water. Fresh yeah, water. Okay. So that, that, that right hoses our, our, our silver hole hose and the yeah. filter and uh, the RV Guardian thing, the water pressure regulator there. Um, this helps make sure that you don't blow anything on the inside of the tent if you've got really high pressure water system that you're connected to. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know how often that is, but after reading horror stories of people turning the water on and then, you know, the pecs exploding all on the inside, I didn't want to risk it. So we, we, we got that sucker there. The typical little blue RV filter thing, which if you watch our filter review videos, um, it's actually pretty, pretty actually good. works, actually does something. And, and out here, this is some of the worst tasting water that uh, I've encountered. Is and it worse than Possum Kingdom? Oh, yeah. The, is it really? Yes. But Possum Kingdom, our zero water still tastes funky, and it doesn't taste funky Well, it tastes here. funky after like two or three yeah. re, re, redos, but I, I, this is, it was bad. I, I, I was going to cook spaghetti, and like I was worried about the noodles, so <laughs> it was mm. terrible. Um, but even just running through that, it, it knocks out a lot of that, that chemically taste, so you know it does something. Uh, we also have all of our, 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 our connections and tubing for the gray and black water um, when we are connected to sewer, so that's all on the back end. And then we also um, added a, a light right here, so oh, yeah. sometimes, you know, we're coming in at nighttime, so it's kind of hard to see in here, so added that light. Yeah. And then, you know, I got, got a bunch of tools and... <laughs> uh, uh, that's from a, his construction yeah, days. Yeah, a bunch of construction. <laughs> So, uh, got, got, got a bunch of yeah, impact stuff and it still says it, sorry. Yeah. Um, but this is, this is kind of a catch-all for any of my uh, drill or, or impact connections. We've got gloves for dealing with the black water, really anything I don't want to touch. We've got our Kurt Echo wireless um, trailer hookup. This thing is pretty awesome. I didn't want to deal with having to run wires and do all that crap for uh, connecting an actual uh, brake controller. This works off an app on my phone. If the app ever goes down and your phone dies, it just saves the previous setting, so it's perfect. Um, I, I really like this. Uh, it's not any more expensive than a good brake controller, and it does everything good brake controllers do, so it's kind of kind of hard to not recommend. Uh, we've got fly strips and stuff. Um, we, we've only really been at a couple of sites that that was an issue. and. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this but, year, we've actually not had mosquitoes or fly problems. Yeah, we've got a lot except of little for at problems. Sea rooms. Yeah, the serum's awful, C -Rim, but, but this... those wouldn't have helped. <laughs> yeah. So we didn't even bother. Uh, it's got lights. We got a bunch of first aid kits and stuff. Um, you know, it's kind of a catch-all. This is this is the tool that I was using to uh, use to put the rivets up, and I just keep it here in case I ever need to. Like if one of one of our, our deals falls out, I can hopefully just fix not. it. Hopefully not. Yeah, hopefully it never happens. But if it does, or I, if I come up with an it. idea, hey, can you hang this here? <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we use stabilizers for underneath the dinette. Is oh, it yeah. necessary? Probably not, but it makes us feel better because that's a lot of weight to put on the dinette uh, when we're all sitting there. So just for peace of mind, we've added that down there. Yep. And this is the back end of our hot water heater. Again, Tara did a great job installing that. I don't know if you can see through here. This is our 
uh, water and our uh, electricity connection there. And then right in this door is where our shower head is for the outdoor shower. We have a video showcasing this Julco that we're using and I will put the link here so you can see how all of that works. And then this cord here coming from all the way down there up there is for the AC unit. And for electricity, we use the surge protector. Uh, yep. And this one, you know, it's got uh, different lights that tell you if it's good, bad, tells you what those lights do. So you can always check the connection. If something's wrong, you can try to fix it. And like I mentioned, the Julka, this is what that looks like. It's a great setup. Check out the video. Yep. And, and then, oh, we still have the light on. Which one is the light? This one? Yep. There we go. Keep the light on at night in case any kids have to go and use the restroom. We store some extra chairs up there in case it rains or whatever, you know, they're nice and dry. Um, we have our wagon here. It's very beneficial whenever you're going down to the lake and you've got some extra things you want to pack up. And then right here we call our toy box because it is filled with toys. We've got um, frisbees, we have the catch ball thing. Um, these are fold up. Um, Velcro mitts. Huh? Velcro mitts. Velcro mitts, yeah. And then this is a beanbag toss cornhole. Um, we have table tennis that goes on your, your tables that you typically come with your campsite. Uh, bug collection, collector stuff, horseshoes. Literally, there's there's a tons of stuff in here, you know. Anytime the kids darts. get bored, we just tell them to hit the box. And... That's right. And then it, on times where we have a uh, larger campsite, we can play this, which we have used. A lot. Uh, yeah, a lot. All right. I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, this particular site is pretty interesting in how it's tiered out. So, you know, we got fishing poles there. We're, we've got lake access through a little trail. So all the kids are out there <laughs> yep. playing around and we're going to be joining them. Yay. Oh, and these rugs uh, I got there. from uh, Hobby Lobby. They're not typical camping rugs because they don't fold up. We roll them up and we just stick them uh, yeah. between the With dinette PVC. and the yeah, PVC. We just stick them in between the dinette and the kitchen counter when we're traveling and it, it works just fine. Hope you enjoyed our tour of the High Wall 277. If there is anything you just got to have, check out our affiliated links in the description of this video. And if you're interested in our tent clamping days, here's a video of that. And check out our hiking adventures. We love to be outside. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel because why not?